everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. As most of you know, I love fashion and there are specific designers that I really, really love. In honor of Fashion Week, since Fashion Week began on September 6th in New York City, I thought I'd give you a little information and provide you with maybe some facts that you didn't know about certain designers that I have learned through my research. First of all, I just found out that the very first Fashion Week was in 1943. Currently, there are 40 Fashion Weeks throughout the year that are in the major cities such as Paris, London, but it always starts in New York City. One of the other things that I learned, and I was a little bit surprised to learn this because it seems to me that when you think of fashion, you generally think of women and girls, However, it is primarily run by men. There are more male executives in the fashion industry than there are females. One of the other really interesting things that I just recently learned is that in the 1500s, they didn't have any type of models. They actually used miniature dolls to show off their clothing and actually models did not come in until 1853. In 1853, they actually started using live models to model on the runway wearing clothing to show off different fashion designers so that people could see what they were making. I am a lover of jeans. I have always loved jeans. One of the things that I recently learned is that one bale of cotton makes 215 pairs of jeans. Actually, a fun fact, when I first met Bill, I had so many jeans, I could not fit them all in my closet. He actually talked me into donating quite a few of them, and I did. So now I have a much more reasonable amount of jeans in my closet. The very first tennis shoe was created in 1917, but I was shocked to learn who created the first tennis shoe. It was made by Ted following shortly thereafter by a pair of tennis shoes made by Converse, which makes a little more sense to me. I do understand that Keds makes tennis shoes, but that's just not who I would have imagined would have been the very first maker of the tennis shoe. Also, I learned that the first pair of Doc Martens was made out of an old tire. I've been looking into fashion designers and what they earn and was shocked to learn that starting out in the fashion industry, you tend to earn approximately $23,000 to $31,000 just to start off. Some of the senior um, employees in the fashion industry earn upwards of $91,000 to $150,000, which is still a lot of money, but when you think of the fashion industry and the amount of money coming in, that even didn't seem like a lot to me. As most of you know, one of my favorite designers is Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton was first started in 1853, and Louis Vuitton started by making trunks at the age of 16. He made the big trunks that you can store and move things in. One of the other fun facts that I just recently learned is that the creative director of Louis Vuitton is Marc Jacobs, and he has been the creative director for 18 years. One of the special things about Louis Vuitton is they are all handmade and every handbag takes approximately one week to complete. When they were first starting their line, Louis Vuitton chose to use a specific design and a specific monogram print so that it was very difficult to duplicate because he knew there would be a lot of people out there trying to create something very similar to him and sell it as a Louis Vuitton. Versace's mother was a seamstress. So he grew up learning to sew and always had an interest in that. Versace is very well known for making clothing that accentuates the female body. Versace was also one of the first companies to actually use models and to use celebrities to model their clothes, which is one of the things that has made them so popular. Jimmy Choo's father was a cobbler, so he grew up in a home where there were shoes being made all the time. Jimmy Choo actually made his first pair of shoes when he was 11 years old. Jimmy Choo went to London to expand his knowledge on shoemaking, and one of, the, one of the reasons that Jimmy Choo became a household name is because he was mentioned and the shoes were mentioned and worn in the show Sex and the City. Sex and the City was such a popular show that once people started learning that the girls on that show were wearing Jimmy Choo shoes, everyone wanted to run out and get a pair. 
Jimmy Choo actually became extremely famous because of that being mentioned in that show. Also, when Vogue did an eight page spread on Jimmy Choo shoes alone, that was also very helpful to bring Jimmy Choo into the homes of millions of Americans. Jimmy Choo primarily makes shoes out of python, leather, and fish skin. Jimmy Choo actually sold half his business quite some time ago so that he could do appointment only creations, which means that specific people that were willing to pay extra would contact him and he would make a one of a kind shoe specifically for them. The last designer that I'm gonna talk about is Salvatore Ferragamo. Salvatore Ferragamo actually made his first pair of shoes at nine years old as a gift for his sister. Salvatore Ferragamo has become the shoemaker of the stars. One of the primary reasons is he went to school to study anatomy as well as studying shoes and design and fashion. The reason that he did that is he wanted to learn about the human foot and how to create comfortable shoes that people can wear and that is one of the reasons that celebrities choose his shoes quite often because they want to wear a shoe that is really really beautiful but is also very comfortable. Currently Salvatore Ferragamo makes 350 shoes a day. That is a lot for such a high priced designer. That lets you know how popular they've become as well if they can make 350 shoes a day to sell. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video in honor of Fashion Week and I hope you learned something. I really enjoyed doing the research that I did to learn about some of the designers that I love so much and just to find out some fun facts about them. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe.